So I graduated in May and after, I guess like a month later, I started a job for a company called Envision Experience. And I guess it's, they have a lot of programs, but the program that I was a part of was called Intensive Long Trail. And so I went to Stanford and I um, coached or taught whatever, four groups of high schoolers and taught them the mock trial case that the um, AMTA actually um, competed in this year. And I was around a bunch of AMTA competitors across you know, the nation from like top schools, from MIT, Northwestern. And I was just like, little old me from USC again, how am I gonna do this job? But I actually did pretty good. I coached um, undefeated teams. So both my, all my teams really won prosecution and defense. So that's good. Um, and honestly, when I was there, like I really, kind of thank USC Aiken and my USC Aiken education because I was very intimidated being out there with people from Ivy League schools. And I was just like, how am I going to do this job? I didn't go to like the top school, but I actually, my education was able to teach high schoolers across the nation. Uh, my senior year, I did an internship at the Aiken County Solicitor's Office in the um, Victus, Victim Witness Program. And I was around like criminal law, was able to watch real criminal trials and murder trials, whatever. And, you know, at first I thought I wanted to be uh, a criminal attorney, but that internship helped me realize I do not want to do criminal law. And honestly, it's a good thing, you know? Um, I did, I loved the internship. I had a really good time, but it helped me decide like what I actually, that's maybe not the type of law that I want to go into. Um, but I also did another internship, the um, Human Rights Measurement Initiative internship about um, human rights and things like that. And so now I'm thinking maybe I want to go into more so like immigration law, helping people. Um, so I feel like those internship internships really, you know, got me thinking about what I want to do and just like a step in the door to see how it really is. Dr. Young's uh, Women in Policy class, I think. I, I think that was the name of it. It's like in my junior year. And just, I mean, there's not that many women in politics, but to be able to be in a class that's focused on women, and not only it wasn't focused on just women, but it was focused on like people of, disabilities and in Congress and people of LGBT and just learn about different policies that are put in place to help people who are, you know, not the majority, minority people. Maybe I want to get into politics, not sure, but it just was probably one of my favorite classes. Um, another class, I would say definitely mock trial. Um, that class helped me decide if I want to be a lawyer um, and was able to compete in tournaments and really learn just courtroom decorum and like stuff like that is very important um, in life. But mock trial really helped me with everything, really public speaking, being an attorney, reading affidavits, things like that. Well, you can see, I can, I guess the political science staff is probably some of the most helpful professors that I've met and just, I just carried that just being a, a teacher this summer. Um, I guess, you know, Southern hospitality or whatever, but just taking what you guys, Dr. Thornberry, you, Dr. Crumb, Dr. Young, Dr. Boisner, um, just the kindness and helping people. And, you know, some of those basic things of just you guys being a professor helped me as a teacher of myself and how to control my own classroom. And, you know, I was just more grateful and just realized what professors go through with lesson plans and just helping people in office hours when I had to do it myself. And I was like, this is a lot. So um, some of the nicest staff, very helpful. Uh, Dr. Young 
was the reason how I had all those internships. She was the one who found all those for me. So I'm very thankful for her, Dr. Thornburg, my coach, Dr. Boysner with the Human Rights Internship. She was one of the ones who got me that, prepped me for the internship, prepped my resume. She helped me incredible, like just a ton with that. And even her um, being my advisor for that internship, even those assignments that she would assign me, they might have been a lot of reading, but they were very helpful. And not only did I learn a lot in the internship, but just the readings and the assignments and her feedback really helped me become a better writer, just a better advocate in general, just everything. So, so over the four years, I had met really good friends, life, lifelong friends. Um, I guess one in particular, Nick Finchette, um, I actually um, refer him to the Envision um, job to teach mock trial. So I was able to teach mock trial aside one of our very own, Nick Finchette. Um, so just those relationships, lifelong friendships will last forever. Just, I would say Dr. Thornberg probably had some of the most interesting classes by his, um, some of his activities that he would have, his group work where we would um, play certain games. But I took a lot of his classes, but overall he has kind of like a very nice teaching style where he will give us assignment, we talk with each other, we debate, and just hearing about other classroom, I mean, other classmates' opinions, and just sometimes they're just crazy. But, you know, we all were very respectful and listened to it and just was like, oh, whatever, you know? Um, so I think his classroom was probably one of the most like the classrooms where you could really hear about everybody political ideas and just debate with people until class ended. I think political science has a lot to offer. Like it's not just one topic. Like it's just a range of things that you can learn about. If you want to focus on law, there's pre-law classes. If you want to focus on you know, being in, in policy. There's classes that focus on policy. There's classes that focus on um, international relations. It's just not just one bowl, just focusing on one subject. You learn about everything. It helps you definitely with writing skills. Um, you write a lot, but it helps you in the long run and public speaking um, a ton just with mock trial and getting up and doing presentations in um, Dr. Young's class and things like that. So, and then also just in the long run, it's a good program. Just like, again, I say being around people in Ivy League schools and from MIT and Florida State and things like that. And like, I know what they know as well. Like, we are on the same level, and we basically had the same education. And I kind of learned that sometimes it's just a name. Stanford University, it sounds good, and I had a good time, but it's just a name. And I was very grateful for my USC again education because without that and without those opportunities of being captain of mock trial or um, having those internships, wouldn't have gotten have I wouldn't have gotten the opportunity to teach at Stanford this summer and be around people like that. So don't I feel like what I would say is don't under don't underestimate USC Aiken's political science program because it's it's really good and very helpful and I learned a lot and I was able to take what I've learned and teach other people across the nation. So very grateful for that.